Shelby Bonney. I'm the host of the Innovator Series, brought to you by Technology for Obama. And I'm here with Reed Hoffman today. It's a great pleasure to be with you, Reed. Great to be here. So, Reed, Reed is the chairman and founder of LinkedIn, and is a prolific entrepreneur, prolific investor, uh, and is really one of the most noted minds in the area. So, it is is fun to be here, and it's fun to talk to you. So, thank you. My honor. So. Um, I want to talk a little bit about kind of advice, and mm. you you recently just wrote a book um, that really was very much focused on kind mm. of career advice for people, and I think took the old adage of kind of what color is your parachute and kind of took a new view on it. So, mm. having read it, I thought mm. I thought it'd actually be helpful maybe if you could just give some of your kind of top line thoughts in terms mm. of advice for people that are thinking about new jobs or new careers. Well, I think the key thing is to think about how do you invest in yourself. So. Think about yourself as a business of your a business of one, the CEO of your of your own career, the entrepreneur of your own life, and as such, it's it's no longer a career ladder. It's no longer hey, you know, I get a college degree, the jobs are waiting, I pick one, it seems to work with me, and I just kind of walk along a simple path forward. You now have to be thinking about yourself as you create yourself as a business. So industries are always going to be changing. They're probably going to change multiple times during your career. How do you adapt to that? Well, the answer is actually relatively uh, straightforward. It's the lessons of entrepreneurship. Is by thinking of yourself as the entrepreneur of yourself, you say, well, how do I invest in myself? How do I get the right soft assets? How do I build out a network? How do I think about how my skills work across a number of industries and how do I stay alert to what's going on? Because it, it isn't disloyal to your company. That's also how you help your company evolve, adapt to the future itself. Because if you're, if you're not paying attention to the way the world's changing, then the company can't be paying attention to the, world, the way the world's changing. And so, Yeah, and I was gonna say, I thought, I thought one of the interesting parts from the book was this notion of also, think about the competitive profile of industries, which mm -hmm. is, I think a lot of people say, go, go do exactly what you love. But I think one of the things you covered is really, you also have to think in a competitive context of where are there opportunities within, you know, for you to succeed. Yeah. Well, it's uh, exactly. It's just like entrepreneurship. You say, "Look, I'm passionate about, you know, um, you know, some particular product." Well, if you don't have a competitive edge in that product, it doesn't matter how passionate about it. You can't succeed as an entrepreneur. And so, it's both important to have the passion and the realism about what the market looks like, what the competition looks like, what the the availability of that product looks like. And and one of the key things when you're thinking about your own personal competitive differentiation is well how many like find some some place where there aren't a lot of competitors like sure you may be pa really passionate about this one thing but like everyone wants to be a movie director okay is there something else that you're passionate about that only a few people can and you can stand out from everyone and do something amazing with that and that's a much better source for a career and and I know you've talked to a lot of students what you know when you sit down with kind of college students mm -hmm. today what are the the like one or two pieces of advice you give them in terms of kind of first job and what to think about well, the key thing is to think that the, uh, what you're really doing is you're beginning to build a network and you're beginning to build an intelligence about what's going on in the industry. And in a sense, like your first salary doesn't really matter. It's, it's the potential to where that job leads you. And one of the things that I learned from pretty early in my career is I started at Apple kind of doing user experience design. I realized I should be a product manager. Well, I started volunteering work in the product management group in order to get over there and get experience with it in order to be able to change the path in which I'm going. And that's precisely that kind of, you know, don't think of this as kind of a linear path. Think about this as kind of a uh, either jungle gym or a network of paths where you're kind of making various choices as you go along and using uh, your friends and your allies as radar and as a sensor net to know where you should be going. Well, you heard it here from one of the great minds in the valley. So great talking to you. We look forward to talking to you more. So thank you.